In business tonight, firms will have time to adjust before the new local qualifying salary kicks in next year. The LQS aims to encourage companies to hire local workers. A senior minister of state for manpower, Zaki Mohammad, says some firms can expect higher costs. He adds consumers also have to do their part to support lower wage workers. And I therefore hope that Singaporeans will not accuse firms unfairly of profiteering, but let's also work together to address any unreasonable price increases or any unreasonable practices. One reason the work group recommended that the National Wage Council help to provide guidance on wage growth is to enable the tripartite partners to carefully weigh the impact of wage growth, inflation, and general economic conditions every year. He also notes that such workers make up nearly a quarter of full-time resident employees, earning below $1,400 per month in 2020. These include those working in small family businesses that do not hire foreigners, such as hawker stalls and heartland retail shops. Mr. Zaki says these workers will not be overlooked. They don't have the business scale or reach, and we are mindful that sudden wage shifts to these micro-businesses can result in business failure. So the last thing you want is for job losses for these family businesses. But while not formally covered by the LQS requirement, these workers here should still see meaningful increases in their wages over time due to market forces.